his 13 million followers, our next guest is one of the most loved people on Pinterest. She's a design phenom who went from sharing her favorite things to creating her favorite things. She's a designer, blogger, and author. Please welcome the woman behind the Oh Joy craze, Joy Cho. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, thank you. That's a lot of followers on Pinterest, man. That's crazy, that's like a country. It is all the country. And you were one of the first yes, to I was, be a part of Pinterest. I was. I had met the founder at a conference in 2010, and he's like, hey, do you want to try this new little website that we're working on? Uh huh. And I said, yeah, let's try it. And for me as a designer, it was such a great tool and a reference that I used it way before the world found out about it, and now yeah. everyone's on it. Everyone knows and about a it. a great tool for everybody, for Absolutely. inspiration. Tell us about your target product line. So we have a line of paper party wear out with Cheeky right now. It's available at Target. Ooh. And so it's perfect for everyday parties, for showers, for birthday parties. And the thing is, when you prepare for a party, if any of you have done that before, you oh, buy yeah. lots of plates and cups and napkins and all this fun stuff. And then sometimes you have extras. Uh -huh. So today we're going to show you some fun things to do with the extra pieces. Nice. You Wonderful. Have. What are we doing here? So, as you can see, we have some extra plates here. Again, okay. you might have gotten some for a party, but you have a few laying around. You don't want to waste them, but they're not right. enough for another party. So what you can do is you can take the extra plates and draw a flower shape. Now, this one is almost symmetrical, like a clover, but you could also freehand it. And so you can cut it out of three different sizes. Uh -huh. So we have a large, mm -hmm. we have a medium, and we have a small. And so we've already have them pre-cut right in okay, front of you. Wonderful. And so you can see with these three different sizes, we're going to layer them to make a fun decoration that you could put on a wall for the decor. This is great. How fun. Yeah. You could use this for a fun photo booth. You could use it for behind uh, a table where your food uh -huh. is going to be. Or just like little areas in the home that you need yeah. to decorate for an event. Absolutely. Right. The biggest thing is the inexpensive aspect of this. Is exactly. Like this, I mean, this is, you said it's leftovers. So it's it costs no nothing. waste. Yeah. The idea is that we're not going out and buying brand new um, materials, but we're going and using the extra plates we already have. Cool. And it's great for kids too, if you exactly. have a party, a little birthday party, fun crafts. Exactly. Perfect. Great craft idea for kids. So in this case, we've already pre-cut out these papers and we're going to layer them together. These have been pre-folded, as you can see, mm -hmm. in a half and a half. They did all the work for us. Yeah. They knew that we were going to mess this up. They don't trust up. us with yeah. scissors. <laughs> So the idea of the pre-folding it before you glue them together is just so that later you can add a little bit of dimension. It helps mm -hmm. you add a little bit of depth to it. A little it. origami. Yeah. You can see here there's a range of different ones applied. So there's from the more simple to what we're doing to super complex. And you can find all of these ideas on... Your Pinterest. Pinterest, yes. <laughs> or Your Pinterest. So you okay. stack them. So all we're going to do is we're going to layer them. Double stick okay. tape is the easiest thing to do. With a very little mess. Oh, I love that. So just take the biggest one, put a piece of double stick tape in the middle, and then stick the medium size. Perfect. And then stick the smaller one on top. Wow, they really did give us an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> heavens. <laughs> and you can see what you can do is take advantage of the curve it. of the plate to add a little bit of dimension. And this is, for spring, this is also a great brooch. Oh, yes. <laughs> You can see Very it goes nice. with my flower yes. It goes with your bee. <laughs> now, to add a little something something at the end, you could add little pom poms. Nice. We've also done something where we've cut out shapes with the extra. There's always going to be extra around oh, here. Yeah. And you can use a little hole punch to cut out those shapes and put them on there. Wonderful. So, if you see the finished product, this is glorious. Over here. It's beautiful. This is what we've just made, and these are other. We did this. Beautiful. Yes. We did this. We did it. Now, you also have a clever cake stand. Yes. So, another thing I find that when I have a party, I don't really always have cake stands. It's just not one of those things that everybody has laying right. in the house. Sometimes you have one. So, what you could do is... You don't you have a cake stand? Ha! A whole... <laughs> I have a whole closet of cake stands, usually. So, you could just grab one, but then add height using oh, plates and there. cups. Or, if you don't have any at all, you can make them from scratch. So, all it is is a cup and a plate or a cup and a bowl. Yeah. So Ben, you can see you have a bowl. Yep. We have plates. You want to put the cup Boy, wide no. side down. Here to do this. And then you're just going to take Elmer's glue. Everyone has Elmer's glue laying around their house. And then you are going to put it around the edge of the cup. Stick it right on top. Yep. Center it as best as you can. Hold Whoa. it down. OK, yeah, I got a little, I got a little aggressive. <laughs> Yeah. Now remember, this does need to dry for a little bit before you start putting food yeah. on there. Yeah. But let's pretend that it's dry, and then you, you can stack little, little cookies. Yeah. 
And look, oh, you can you use your flower. You can even use your flower. You can. Exactly. So cute. You could double up on that. Wow. Look at that. Bless them. That is magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> salsa. You can use salsa. All right, I'm really excited about this. You're going to show us how to make confetti. OK, so this is so easy. Again, we have all these extra parts of mm -hmm. the plate. So there's these hole punchers you can get at craft stores. They come in different shapes. Uh -huh. This one's a star. This one has different confetti pieces. And then you just punch. Super yeah. easy. And these so are also like just plates you have left over. Exactly. So you're not wasting. Exactly. Them. And it's a simple hole punch. You stick it in, and then you can see we have a whole bunch of shapes we've done already. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Get the broom out. out. Get the oh, broom right. out, guys. We won't talk about his Betty time. Chest trusty broom. Now, one more. thing I like to do. Yeah. Just a little more. I just more? I like it a okay. lot. Yeah. You want I more? Love it. Yeah, two hands. Good. That's nice. All right. So one thing I like to do that also adds a little decor to the tables. I like to sprinkle it around. Oh, you're oh yeah. Oh, you're I've it seen that a lot oh, okay. at parties. And then you have your plates on top, and it's just easy, instant. And it's pretty.